Hey guys, welcome back to Nextgen Block. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can make modern animated titles in VSTC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to make modern animated titles in VSTC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported a demo video in the editor. So, this is my demo video present right here. And the first thing which you need to do is you need to write some text on top of the screen. So go to add object, go to text, click on text and then click on OK. Now mark your text object on top of the screen like this and then click on this option which is set the same size as the parent has. Now let's write some text inside the text box. So let me just write let's say next gen blog. And let me just center align this text by going to paragraph and selecting center and once again going to paragraph and selecting center align. Let me also change the font of this text from Arial to Montserrat black and let me also increase the text size to somewhere around let's say 150 pixels. Perfect. Now, I would like to reduce the duration of my text object in the timeline. So currently the duration of my text object is 15 seconds, 833 milliseconds. So I would like to reduce the duration to somewhere around, let's say 5 seconds. So inside the duration option, write 05.000 and then press enter. Next, I would like to place my text object at 1 second in the timeline. So currently it is placed at 0 seconds. So inside the time option, you need to write 01.000 and then press enter. Perfect. Now double click on your demo video and place the cursor at one second. Now what we will do is we will add a Gaussian blur when the text comes on screen. So the text comes on screen at one second. So from one second to six second, we will add a Gaussian blur so that our video gets blurred in the background. So go to video effects, go to filters, select Gaussian blur and then click on OK. Now currently the duration of the Gaussian blur effect is 14 seconds, 833 milliseconds. So decrease its duration to somewhere around, let's say, 500 milliseconds. So write 00, 00.500 inside the duration option and press enter. Now look inside the Gaussian blur effect settings which is present inside the properties window and you will find this option called blur levels where currently the value is 4. So you need to delete this value and you need to write 0 semicolon 50 and then press enter. Next, what you need to do is you need to click on this particular Gaussian blur effect, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V two times to create two additional duplicates. Now place the second Gaussian blur effect right after the first Gaussian blur effect like this and increase its duration from 500 milliseconds to 4 seconds. So inside the duration option, write 04.000 and then press enter. Now look inside the Gaussian blur effect settings of this second Gaussian blur effect. Inside the blur levels option currently the values are 0 semicolon 50. So delete these two values and write 50 and then press enter. Now place the third Gaussian blur effect right after the second Gaussian blur effect like this and look inside the Gaussian blur effect settings of this third Gaussian blur effect. Inside the blur levels option, currently the values are 0 semicolon 50. So delete these two values and write 50 semicolon 0 and then press enter. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly go back to the main editing timeline and if I just quickly play the video for you. Perfect. So as you can see, when the text is on screen, my video gets blurred in the background. Perfect. Next, what we will do is we will double click on the text object and we will add push transition. So go to video effects, go to transitions, select push 
and then click on OK. Now place the push transition at the beginning of the effect at the beginning of the text like this and decrease the duration of the push transition from 1 second to 500 milliseconds. So inside the duration option you need to write 00, 0 0.500 and then press enter. Now look inside the push settings which is present inside the properties window. Type is set to door. So change this from door to side. Mode is set to right to left. So that's fine. Directly is set to false. So change this from false to true. Inside gradient length currently the value is 50%. So delete this and write 0 and then press enter. And so now let me just see how things are looking. Perfect. Let me just add my second push transition. So let me just go to video effects once again. Go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. Decrease the duration of the push transition from 1 second to 500 milliseconds. So inside the duration option write 00, 0.500 and then press enter. Now place this second push transition right at the end of the text like this and look inside the push settings of this second push transition. Type is already set to side so that's fine. Mode is set to right to left so change this from right to left to left to right. Directly is set to false so that's fine. Gradient length is already set to 0% so that's fine as well. So let me just check how things are looking on screen. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Now next what we will do is we will add a rectangle object on top of the screen. So let me just place the cursor somewhere around here so that my text is visible. And let me just now go to add object and let me just select rectangle. And now let me just click on OK. Now mark your rectangle object right on top of your text like this. And let me just make sure that my rectangle is touching the border on the left side as well as on the right side. Now let me just click on horizontal align center. And now let me just click on vertical align center. Perfect. Now I would like to place this particular rectangle object at one second in the timeline. And I would like to decrease its duration to five seconds. Perfect. Now look inside the rectangle object settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside transparency, currently no is selected. So change this from no to yes. Inside fill background, currently solid is selected. So change this from solid to transparent. Perfect. Now what you need to do is you need to double click on the rectangle object. And what we will do is we will add another rectangle object inside the main rectangle object. So this is the main rectangle object. Double click on it and right here we will add a second rectangle object. So go to add object, select rectangle and then click on OK. Now mark your second rectangle inside the original rectangle like this. Let me just click on horizontal align center. And let me just click on vertical align center. Perfect. Perfect. Now right above here you will find these three rectangle styles. Actually not three. We have couple of rectangle styles. But you need to select this particular rectangle style. Alright. So, so select this rectangle style. And now look inside the rectangle object settings. Inside transparency currently no is selected. So that's fine. Inside color currently black is selected. So click on this three dots which is present on the extreme right of the color option. 
and the moment you click on this three dots this colors dialog will open up now let me just select this particular color and let me just click on ok let me just increase the thickness from 1 to somewhere around let's say 25 and as you can see my rectangle is visible so this is the rectangular border which I wanted so if I just quickly play the video for you from the start perfect perfect all right next what you need to do is double click on the rectangle object this is the main editing timeline by the way so double click on the main rectangle and inside we have added a second rectangle but now what we need to do is we need to add push transition inside the main rectangle so go to video effects go to transitions select push and then click on ok now place this push transition right at the beginning like this decrease its duration to 500 milliseconds so inside the duration option write 00 0.500 and then press enter look inside the push settings type is set to side mode is set to left to right so that's fine directly is set to false so change this from false to true gradient length is already set to 0% so that's fine let's add a second push transition so go to video effects go to transitions select push and then click on ok decrease the duration of the push transition to 500 milliseconds so inside the duration option write 00 0.500 and then press enter now place the push transition right at the end like this and look inside the push settings type is set to side mode is left to right so change this from left to right to right to left directly set to false gradient length is already set to 0% so now if I just quickly play the video for you so this is how things are looking as of now perfect one final thing which is left to be done is we will add a little perspective effect so double click on the main rectangle and now double click on the rectangle which is present inside the main rectangle and now place the cursor place the cursor at 500 milliseconds perfect and now go to video effects go to transforms select perspective and then click on ok decrease the duration of the perspective effect to let's say 266 milliseconds so inside the duration option write 00 0.266 and then press enter now look inside the perspective settings which is present inside the properties window vertical is set to false so, it's, so that's fine inside perspective angles currently the value is 30 degree so delete this value and write 0 semicolon 90 and then press enter perfect now click on this perspective effect press ctrl c to copy it and and then press ctrl v to paste a duplicate now place the second perspective effect right after the first perspective effect like this and look inside the perspective settings of the second perspective effect inside vertical currently false is selected so that's fine inside perspective angles currently the values are 0 semicolon 90 so you need to delete these two values and you need to write minus 90 semicolon 0 and then press enter and that's it so now if I just quickly go back to the main editing timeline and if I just quickly play this entire thing for you perfect perfect so this is how you can create a modern animated title in VSTC free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see in the next video till then thanks for watching